So let's talk about the options we have to choose when configuring a cluster. So the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and create that cluster. And you're gonna to have to choose between um, Fargate or ECS clusters and whether you want uh, it to have um, some networking components involved. And then once you've done that, you'll have to go through and choose a bunch of options. So you have to choose whether you want it to be spot or on demand. So with ECS, you can save money with spot because if you're running background tasks, maybe uh, they, it's not a big deal for those to um, uh, get interrupted. Then you're gonna to to, to, to wanna to choose the EC2 instance type. Uh, and then you'll have to choose the number of instances. Uh, you'll have to choose the EBS storage volume. And then you can choose whether you want to use Amazon Linux 2 or Amazon Linux 1, which uh, both have Docker installed on them. So there are some of those options right there for you, as you can see. Uh, then you'll have to choose your VPC or you can create a new VPC. Uh, then you need to assign it an IAM role. Uh, then you have the option to turn on CloudWatch Container Insights. This is going to give you uh, richer metrics uh, about the operations of your containers. Um, and then you can uh, choose a key pair, which is unusual because you don't necessarily need to log into your instances. And AWS generally does not recommend you to SSH into those containers, but you totally can. So that's all the options for ECS. And we'll see this again when we go through the uh, follow along.